Let me just check. Uh, this if this is... is even remotely. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just... There you go. There you go. Let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Oh. Did I leave you hanging there? Did I leave you hanging for no, a bit? Sorry I about just, that. I didn't I know. Just... <laughs> I just ran out of, of anything. I just, I just, all that happened during that whole little segment there was a little boy came out of me just going, I remember when I first started going into yeah. guitar. Yeah. And, and I actually didn't really like these very much, but it's still a, a kind of a... You know, I've recently, I've been looking, I've been maybe about six months, a year ago, I've been trolling the internet to get one of these and the Ibanez. What was the one that uh, the Ibanez he played in? I don't know. It's not, this is not an Ibanez video anyway, but in Back to the Future. What? Do you remember the one he played at a school dance when they were when Hugh Lewis was the teacher and they're playing? He goes, no, yeah, no, stop, stop. I'm sorry. You're just afraid you're too darn loud. I'm afraid you're just too darn loud or something he says I don't and he that. plays this this and I can't remember what is it you'll know in it and I've been trolling the net for one of those like a roadster and one or of something these. yes it? yeah roadster 2 or something well, anyway and it's a three so, if anybody's on. got one of those you want to send me please speaking of back to the future let's set our speedometers to 88 miles an hour <laughs> And uh, jump miles. into our DeLoreans. 1.21 uh, gigawatts. And yes, hopefully ourselves and Professor Brown, Emmett Brown, will leap back into the uh, 80s, the late 80s, I think, for this. Yeah. Um, and we remember a Fender guitar called the HM Strat, with Strat somewhat garishly written. <sighs> uh, in in I know. sort of. Uh, I remember this so. It, it was so clear in my mind when I was about. 14, something like that, maybe a bit younger, maybe a bit older. These hanging on the wall going... Where were they made? Were they Japanese then or were they... Were they, uh, they might have been American, American? I certainly remember that, it, that again, so I, I started working in Anderton's in 19... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, probably <laughs> something around about 1987, 88 as a Saturday boy and then full time, I think, in 89, hey, 90, Saturday boy. Like that. Um, and definitely at the time, you had brands, particularly I would say Ibanez, really starting, you know, their RG guitars. People are probably... When was the gem? When did the gem come out? That's been around for... Mid-80s, wasn't yeah, it? Late 80s. Time, wasn't but, you know, really starting to get a foothold. And Fender going, we don't have a guitar that's going to appeal to this yeah. kind of customer. So yeah. we, need to do, we need to do something. So the HM Strat came out. Um, I'll be honest with you. I don't recall this no, I don't think Shanford they had those. heel joint, so that might be a new thing. Yeah. But other than that, it was basically this. Even the knobs are right. The knobs was, are the same, aren't they? With, um, the fin, with the F in there. And, and I do remember these being pretty cataclysmically unpopular. Uh, you know, people just went, look, Fender make guitars for Eric Clapton and Jimi Hendrix and... David yeah. Gilmore, yeah. you know, it's like, yeah, and yeah. it was like yeah. a dad's guitar. Your dad plays Fender. <laughs> if you're young and cool, you play yeah, Ibanez, Ibanez or whatever. Yeah. Pretty different now in the sense of it doesn't feel like that now, but then it did. And so I don't remember these being popular or being in the catalogue for very long. I honestly, I'm pretty sure you could have bought one of these from Anderson's at the time for like 300, 350 pounds, something like that. Well, it's not that It was 500 years ago, mind, when yeah, 300 yeah, but... pounds bought you a small estate in uh, East Anglia. But uh, <laughs> it still does, doesn't it? <laughs> it still does, yeah. Um, but now, yeah, what are we, 2020? And at the NAM show, we saw these. So we're like, I love boom. Them. I love um, it. Japanese, right? Yeah, Japanese. Four colours. Um, yes. So you've got the pink, you've got the yellow. A green, and a, a green and a white. And a white. And then you've got two configurations with a fingerboard maple, two maple, and two rosewood. Yeah, rosewood if you... And it is real rosewood. It's not uh, like a, 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 an alternative it's brown wood. No, exactly. But yeah, rosewood on the green and the white one, maple on the pink and the yeah. yellow. Yeah, rolled fingerboards here. Super, so super nice lovely to play. To play. Uh, so and neck nice. Is, neck is slim. I'd say slim like... Slim like me? Slim like oh. you <laughs> on a Sunday morning coming out of the shower. <laughs> It's got really flat fingerboard, also like you, 17, <laughs> 17 inches. inches, unlike me. That would be like uh, Rock, the tripod, Sparrow, 
<laughs> yeah, uh, very flat it's finger super flat. Not, so, not like so Ivan like, is wizard thin, is it? But it's it's thinner than a than a regular. They stripe. almost they, they are almost like this, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> that was going the other way, the Ivanus. Oh, I see wizard. how thin they are. Yeah, wizard sleeve. Uh, what have we got? Like medium jumbo frets. Pretty, pretty, yeah. pretty wide. Not very tall. Yeah. Basewood body, polyurethane lacquer. Yeah. The the plug goes in the back here. One of these. I don't know if you can see it. It's got one one of those kind of screwy yeah. things that is it's, pretty cool. It's a strap body though, isn't it? With the, all the contours in the right. Oh no, I tell a lie. Look, a little bit of an extra contour on the back of the um, as well. upper belt. Oh, yeah. and the lower belt as well. They got some, not that you're playing it this way, unless you're Jimmy Hendrix and you want to yeah, you know, look like that. I would love to know, Fender aficionados out there. there, were the original HM strats, did they have this little um, I don't think so. heel or was it square? I think it was square. Yeah. I mean, I just remember the painted black headstock. With that logo, man. And, <laughs> well, and the underlining of the word matching yeah. the, the and, and it was like, I, I love just it. thought it was so naff. I'm going to keep this, Fender. You're not having this, this back. Was... You can fight me for it. I'm, I completely and utterly, Does you're it... going to fight me for this guitar. Isn't it so, I mean, I suspect, what else from that era w at the time? I mean, was that the Do time? Do you remember when... the Roland you... synthesizer guitar? No, I'm Do you thinking about that just the... generally. I'm oh. pretty sure that I would have been wearing Miami Vice style espadrilles. Oh man, I had Miami, like, I had the, the I had white the, linen the thing up here, suit jacket, suit jacket where you jacket roll, roll up, you know. And I appreciate you know, I had orange espadrilles. I had earrings with a feather in it. I never had earrings. Oh, I had that. I definitely had an orange shirt that. You know that pearlescent colour, the nebula yeah, colour? Yeah. I had an orange shirt that did that, so as you move, oh, it was yeah. a bit blue and then what it was the a bit orange. Do you remember the hypercolours when you touched them and you got hot and then the t-shirt? Do you remember those? And then people are really hot and sweaty. They've just got like massive like things underneath. So you had this blue t-shirt and it's all yellow on the head. Like, have you been sweating a lot? Do you remember yeah. hypercolour? So how come it's kind of cool for this to come back, but all of those other items that we just mentioned, well, you'd you, rather shoot yourself than my, wear? My girls, they got for Christmas, they got this present where they got, it's a t-shirt and then in the front here, there's like this little I can't remember the call. I've seen it where you draw on it, and you draw on with a piece of, with a yeah, light I've pen. You draw on with a light pen, and then you know it goes away after a bit, and you can imagine what I draw on it. <laughs> but you know it's not really. <laughs> hey, close your eyes. I'm going to draw something on you. No, 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 Come on. Anyway, right, so pickups are. Fender own, we, they're, they're not seen with Uncons or anything like that. They're, Fender pickups. They're some Japanese kind of, I guess they're just repros of what was on there. Even look at that. Even the bridge pickup surround is little, slightly angled, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, slightly angled for, for that. For, I don't know, so you get aerodynamic I, reasons. I rank ranking this because when you split, when you split this, yeah. the, the back pickup is probably the one that's split and then that's a bit closer to the, uh, so you get a bit more volume. Proper Floyd. Yeah, maybe proper Floyd. Yeah, and um, yeah, that's a proper Floyd. And because you know all guitars yep. need to to uh, uh, be warned about this, uh, the danger of uh, cancer and reproductive harm. Um, yeah, apparently that's in California, in, California. in nickel. So anything nickel-wise that have it'll Blimey. have nickel frets. This it's not stainless steel frets. Personally, I prefer the I nickel admit, frets because they uh, feel nickel back certainly did a lot of reproductive harm. Do you think on early think albums it says? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I shouldn't joke about a, things like that. But if yes, you don't a, want kids, just put it in a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> it says, do not put this on. That's it. They're never okay. coming on, are they? No. Which is a shame because they're great men and we yeah. should invite so them. They've got some, they've got some, we were talking, we were doing hits. the sounds like, and we talk about the hits on that. They do some awesome songs, man. You can sing along to all of them. Anyway, let's have some tones, Lee, please. So, You're rambling on about um, Nickelback. Yeah, we got a very traditional configuration of controls here. Neck pickup. <laughs> I cannot believe I haven't had to tune this guitar. What? Hey man, I, Fender, I'm serious, I'm keeping this. Yeah. I'm just throwing this out as well. The addition of the Floyd has squidged all the pickups up. So look at the gap between the, the neck and the middle and the, it's oh, yeah, you're much right. less than it would be. So again, all those little things like that will yeah, give this its own sound. Show, show, the, show the strap behind there. Look, they're much closer together. I mean? So you'll get, you'll you mean, get different tones, yeah. different tones. Anyway, this feels different as well. You know what? It's, very it's smooth, not. This. It's not the Floyd pushing it this way, or perhaps it is as well. It's the twenty-four fretboard pushing oh, it this yes, way as well. Oh yeah, it's twenty-four frets because that's what I play yeah. all the time. So actually, both ends is going. <laughs> Like that bit from Star Wars where they're all being crushed in the in the garbage disposal thing like that. That's sure, Chewbacca, sure, that's yeah. Han Solo, and that's Luke Skywalker. Uh, middle pickup. It's got a 
a really slinky feel. I is love it, it. Is it a normal? You might have to look this up. There's a little thing in my brain going, these aren't 25 and a half inch scale length. I, I, no, I've got I'm a funny sure, thing, they're sure. 25. Really? I'm sure I saw that in the spec and thought, no, oh, but I could be wrong. Anyway, so uh, now we've let got look, middle look and bridge. Let me look on the competitors' website. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's 25, isn't it? 25.1. Point 0.1. Point it feels slinky. Yeah. Pinky. Uh, right. Bridge, humbucker. Or oh. split. And what's the, what's the, is it two tones and a volume, yeah? Must be, yeah. You can't have man. this back either, Fender. No, we keep oh, I don't these. know if yellow would be my one. Blue might be, but oh, oh. Oh, you need. This is the thing with these colours. You have to go like we did there a video go. on the new lead guitar, the Fender lead. You have to go. You can't. Yeah. Don't go. You go, go big or go home. It, just, right? These guitars need to be yellow and green and neo green and yeah. orange and purple and all that stuff. Hey, come on! Did you check out when I was playing in the beginning? I was doing this kind of Jeb Beck kind of thing with this. Oh, like. Uh, Interesting uh, trem technique there, Pete. You're like holding it with your third and fourth finger and then just like tapping it with the Did second I? finger. Did I yeah. do that? Did I do little... Well, like you're literally doing that and I'm going, that's interesting. Yeah, you're not it's, even it's, conscious you're doing it. It's my special sex like... move, Lee. <laughs> Kind of music, but this is great, man. It's really good guitar, isn't it? It's really. I. There's been a lot of so hype, and I. No, no, I, I no, no word like of a lie. Well, Fender well. announced these. I said to Jed, who does a lot of the guitar purchasing at Anderson's. You might have seen Jed in some of the Nam videos that we did. I just went. Be careful with these, Jed. They, they were <laughs> nobody wanted them the first time round, and. Um, I said, let's just get like a couple in each color, and just be careful like that. Literally. The day after they've been announced, yeah, Pete was saying, get I was saying, just I was like, they'll be popular. He doesn't know anything. Uh, <laughs> like the day after they announced, we'd taken orders for like 20 of them or something. I'm like, Jed, get on the phone with Fender, buy as many as you can. Yeah. Uh, so I think we've got quite a few coming in now. Well, maybe a... not quite, because they're, they're only, a, is there like 150 of each of these oh, in the that, world? Oh, I was just about to ask, is this a limited edition thing? Oh, mega limited. So I think, they're, I think there's a, either 150 of these. Uh, each colour in the world, or 150 of each coming to Europe. But either way, when I damn went back, you, when I went back to Fender and said, just buy as many as you can, I'm talking. We had maybe like eight or nine of one colour, and maybe ten or twelve of another, or so, you know, like not loads. And annoying, really. But because now and now we got there's two less. <laughs> yeah. Cause... Well, these ones, these ones we borrowed from Fender. I, I these don't. Are demo eagle-eyed people amongst you might see that a tiny bit of the paint has been uh, chipped off on the by the, which wasn't me by the way, Fender. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, I've got uh, an but email these to are prove that. 
Yeah, and it, see it, this one here. It's cut a little bit of the plastic has come off, so I better keep that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely second hand. You, you can't sell that. You, can't, you have to. You can't yeah. even put that on the market. Why so we just why don't we just make up a story that the flat got burgled overnight and just they just weren't they they didn't take anything own, else. Only two things they stole were the yellow and the pink HM strats, and then claim on the insurance or something. Hey, and then we used them in a video. Um, we bought it. Well, there you go. Someplace else. I think these are great. Yeah. Well done, Fender. Is again. it okay now to basically? be the dad that I kind of didn't the reason I didn't want to fend a strat you know when I was like yeah six 17 or whatever was because it was that was the sort of dad guitar thing actually you know what that's not true because I I had a my first ever guitar was a cheap you know strat copy thing but by it's Fender but like a oh you know, right like okay. a like a, a it's this, you'll have seen in a, if you're a super fan of this channel and you watch everything I had this Korean oh, Fender did, yeah. thing yeah, yeah. and then after that I went on a really anti Fender thing really? for 10 years yeah just not because they're not I just wouldn't even try one I was just like no that's what old people play young people play and here we are Lee. <laughs> I know yeah. now we're here now all I want is Fender no, now it's now okay I, now <laughs> I, you know I don't know is this okay young people out there if you're you know here's a question for you if you're yeah cool and in your teens or your early 20s or whatever and you're still cool would um, you play this are these cool or are these totally for dads that just want to be cool or oh, the, the guys like us that couldn't afford it back then and now uh, i didn't want, even want it back then i just want it now i want, want it, it now, now. <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching guys yes. these are the uh, eight of strats from fender uh, <laughs> they're a thousand uh, pounds each they're 999 pounds basewood bodies Gig maple bags. necks I think so. I think there's good bags could be wrong. Them, yeah. Read the spec on the Anderson's yeah. website. Because these are loners, so we're not quite... Yes, just, I think just gig bags. Stuff in. But Japanese made and super limited edition. Peace. Let's jam out. If anybody ends up with this one, it's called Jeff. Because its serial number starts J-F-F. -F. So does mine. Ah, so this is probably also all Jeff. called Jeff. 209 and 209. <laughs> 9,209. That's a good serial number. I'm just number. saying to you, 9,259. Really? Who will end up... What have you got? 9,259. What, zero oh, nine. So they're 50 apart. Yes, and wow. I, this is not going anywhere, so nobody can get this. Come on then. Okay.